So here we have our recording again. This one uh, is is five passes, and if we take it out of peak, you'll see that it's 602 uh, frames. <clears throat> let's uh, let's say, for instance, that we didn't want to have the first two passes uh, included in our data analysis, and and we just wanted the third pass uh, included. So how would we get to that get to that point? How would we take care of it? Take care of the data so that we could do that analysis. Well, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to have to identify uh, the number of frames that each that, that are included in each path. So, in this case here, we have one of five, uh, which is for for this first pass. It's from it starts at frame one to one thirteen. And if let's say we we'll go to the next pass, and we can see that one sixteen to two fifty one is is essentially um, the second pass. So from frame one to frame 251, that, that, that's all data that we wouldn't want to include into our analysis. So how do we get rid of that? So what, what you're going to do is you're going to go up into the edit. You're going to go to cut frames. And we know that from the beginning, the first step to uh, frame 251 is, is all data that we do not want. So we're going to cut the frame range from 1 to 251. We're going to say OK. And it's going to cut it. So now we can go back to here. And now we're going to have the, from the, the first pass. Now we're starting at frame. This is pass three. So it's but it's only going to identify it as pass one of three now because there's still two passes that we want to eliminate. So the pass that we actually are interested in is right here. And it starts at frame three or one, essentially from whatever, whichever one we're at, to 116. So anything after uh, frame 116 is, is data that we don't want to analyze in this case. So we can go up now to our edit again and cut frame. And this time we're going to cut from the end of pass three. So that would be 117 to 351. And now you can see we only have one pass left. And we can go to, uh, if we just want to verify that we've got everything there, we can create our tables. Now we're going to have four strikes only that are included. And the averages that will be calculated here will only be from the data that we selected here. And if we look at our strikes, if we look at our forced time curves, you can see there's only four gate curves remaining. Um, so that's a, a quick way to really focus in on data that you might be interested in that maybe only occurred at a different portion of the recording. Uh, if you're doing turns or if you're doing a different type of motion at a certain part of the recording and, that, and you really wanted to focus in on that, and that this is a way that you can do that pretty quickly. Uh, the one thing I will caution is that once you've finished cutting this, this movie, you want to make sure that you go into a save as save movie as and you want to save this as a different name than what your original name was because if you save it as the same name you'll overwrite your actual recording and now and then you'll be left with only the four steps you won't have your original recording uh, you can see up here this is now 4 t01 cut 01 um, and then if we can go back here to our where our patient is we could open that other movie back up and it will be a full movie The big movie there it is okay and you can see it has those five passes in it so we have one of five and this one is the one of one so that's how you uh can can cut your movie so to really focus in on different analysis that's more interesting for you